Okay, let's graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 8. And we're going to do it with a table of values, and then we'll use slope-intercept form. So for our table of values, we're going to put values in for x, find y, and then we'll graph that. And I'm just going to make values up that I think will fit on our graph nicely. So I like to start with 0. So 2 times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 8, that gives us 8. So how about if we put 1, 2 times 1, that's 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. That goes off my graph. So instead of 1, I'm going to do negative 1 because I want these to fit on my graph. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 8. That's 6. And how about negative 4? Because 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8. Plus 8, that gives us 0. So that fits kind of nicely. All right, let's graph them. So we'll go to x is 0, y is 8, right up here. Then we have x is negative 1, and y is 6, right there. And finally, x is negative 4, and y is 0, right there. We have three points. Let's put a line through that. Then we'll put arrows here, show this goes to infinity. That's the graph for y equals 2x plus 8. You could have put any values in for x, your values for y, they would show up on our graph. Let's do this with slope-intercept form now. So y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept, that's 8. So we'll just find 8 on the y-axis there. And there's the y-axis right there. So it's the same as we had before, and that happens sometimes. Then for the slope, m here, we have 2. We're going to call that 2 over 1, though. That way we can, hey, the 2, that's rise, 1 is run. Now we can just go to our y-intercept and rise 2 and go over 1. And we can see we're off our graph here already, which is a little bit of a problem, but we're going to go with it and see what we can do. We're going to rise 1, 2, go over 1. And you can see all of these points, they're going to be on the line here. We could go in the opposite direction if we wanted to stay on our graph paper. We could go down 2 and over 1 in the opposite direction, down 2 and over 1 there to the left, the opposite direction. So that would be one way to avoid that problem, 1, 2 over there. So that's how you graph the linear equation y equals 2x plus 8. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.